Hey, it's Cliff. So I spent a lot of time on my channel talking about cryptocurrencies and how they're evolving in the news and different laws that are taking place, but I want to take a step back today and give you my opinion on what cryptocurrencies are and why do we care about them. I also want to talk a little bit about hot cold storage wallets and a little bit on how you can protect yourself in the crypto space because it's definitely a pretty dangerous space. So let's go ahead and get into that. What are cryptocurrencies? I like to think personally of cryptocurrencies the same way we think of functions on the internet with protocols. For example, you're at work. You want to send an email that contains personally identifiable information, PII, or maybe HIPAA information. So you're going to need to encrypt that information so no one else but the person you want to see that information gets to see it. So on the front end, you're just going to go to your mail provider, click encrypt. But what this does is signals to your computer to activate certain protocols on the network, such as SMIME or PGP to encrypt the network traffic from the sender to the recipient. So cryptocurrencies, they kind of work like protocols and that they serve a function that we do not have with the traditional financial system. The same way that using internet provided speed and privacy for sending a letter. What functions do cryptocurrencies provide? So the most common cryptocurrency is Bitcoin and it was created as a response to the 2008 financial crisis. The creator, known as Satoshi Nakamoto's idea was to remove reliance on the banks as an intermediary for financial transactions and to create a peer-to-peer -peer payment system. So simply put, he wanted your money to be yours and if you wanted to send your money to someone else, you shouldn't have to go through a bank to do it. You should be able to send money to someone else yourself. Now, another cryptocurrency, which is our number two cryptocurrency, is Ethereum. And Ethereum is described as the most programmable cryptocurrency. I like to think of it as a network that is designed for innovation. So things that are being built on top of Ethereum network are things like smart contracts or decentralized apps and games. They're all being created on Ethereum. And there's over 10,000 different kinds of cryptocurrencies, so I won't be able to go over all of them and explain different kinds of functions that they all utilize, but I would definitely suggest you check it out because it is the future of the internet, and I, I find it pretty interesting. How are cryptocurrencies purchased? Well, you're going to need to register on an exchange, which is kind of like a brokerage account if you've ever purchased stocks before. So some popular exchanges are Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, Gemini, or Crypto.com. And from those exchanges, you'll be able to purchase cryptocurrencies with dollars or exchange different crypto for different cryptocurrencies. Those exchanges will provide you a hot storage wallet for the time that you need to trade the different cryptocurrencies. But for the long term, I would suggest you purchase a cold storage wallet like a Nano Ledger or a Trezor wallet. Why do I need a cold storage wallet? Well, hot storage wallets are connected to the internet, which leaves you open to possible attacks if someone was able to get into your account through different means like shoulder surfing or eavesdropping or a phishing attack or a social engineering attack, or maybe you just lose your phone and someone was able to access the apps on your phone. Exchanges have come a long way since 2009 by implementing two-factor authentication, HTTPS, requiring strong passwords, but it's still not 100% safe. Not to mention if the exchange itself gets hacked that's hosting your crypto, it's all gone. And there's going to be no one that you can call. Crypto is not FDIC insured, and there's going to be no way for you to get your money back. So it's up to you in the crypto space to protect your crypto assets. You might have heard the phrase, not your keys, not your crypto. Cold storage wallets allow you to take your private keys offline and that makes stealing crypto almost impossible. An attacker would need to physically access your hardware wallet, know the PIN, know your username, and your password, 
And considering that most people don't carry their ledger around with them, this is highly unlikely that they would be able to do this. Thank you for watching. If you have any kind of questions related to beginner crypto questions, I'd be happy to answer them down below in the comments.